guys, this is Ron over at BaseballSimResearch.com. Today we're going to take a look at the NPNG Board Reader uh, Managerial Suggestion add-on that I'm working on right now. Um, a couple of you know what's going on there on the forum, etc. I'm kind of interested in it. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up on, on how it all worked. Um, so I've got uh, a game from 1949 Project that I have going on, not a replay because I frankly uh, have never been able to complete one in my entire life other than a 78 Red Sox team replay. So um, hoping that with some of this add-on stuff I can actually have the uh, attention span to be able to finish off one of these um, replays. So I've got some stuff set up. As everybody knows, uh, the lineups, tabs, card stats, all this kind of stuff is already in the existing board readers. One thing, just as a heads up, um, that I do is I eliminate the lefty-righty splits um, because when I'm doing a replay, I just try to manage uh, players as if, um, you know, as if they were setting up the way they would, regardless of lefty-righty, getting the right amount of playing time, etc. So I've added a couple tabs here. This subs tab. <clears throat> excuse me, is actually where we go in um, to select the team that we want to uh, either show our pinch hitters, pinch runners, um, or relievers for. Um, inevitably, this darn thing uh, here, this data validation thing, uh, never likes to stay, even though I save the thing from, um, from every single uh, refresh. So give me a minute here. Sorry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and get this set up. There we go. All right, so let's say we're playing a game and it's Philadelphia right now. It's according to the spreadsheet, it's crunch time, which is ninth inning or later, and we're ahead big. And if we were Philadelphia, uh, we'd have our choice from suitor or right, and the manager is saying pick suitor. So if he's available to pinch hit, we would pinch hit with him. Um, Nellie Fox would be our only pinch runner. Um, it's now switched to early and tighter to head because that's actually what the spreadsheet is set up for now. Um, if we wanted to get relievers, uh, these would be the guys that are guys that were used in that scenario when we're, the game is early, which is innings one through four, and we're tighter ahead. And figures out a rating based on how many times they appeared in this situation uh, against every day they were actually on the roster. So, for example, if a guy had one appearance and he was only on the roster one day, his rating would be 1,000. Um, if a guy had uh, 20 appearances and he was on the roster for 40 days, his rating would be 500 um, or 50 or whatever the heck I've got going on here. <clears throat> this random number here uh, generates every time. So right now, Jay Wilson would be the recommended uh, reliever. If Wilson's not available, I just keep clicking the darn thing until... You know, we get somebody else in case, you know, this time it would be Bobby Chance. So the manager info tab, right, got ton of information, uh, tons of information here on when they're replaced defensively, uh, early, mid, late, crunch time, uh, which is innings one through four, innings five and six, innings seven and eight, and ninth and later. Uh, behind big, behind, tight or advanced, and ahead big. Uh, behind big is behind by more than three runs. Behind is 3-2 uh, or 1 runs. Tied or ahead is tied or ahead 1 or 2. And ahead big is ahead 3 or more. Um, so I've got defensively, uh, pinch ran 4 in this situation. Like So for example here, um, I'm under pinch ran 4. So when they're tied or ahead under crunch time, uh, Johnson from New York, um, he was in this situation 9 times during the season. Eight times he uh, stayed in the game once he was pinch ran for. So if a random number came up and it was less than one divided by nine, the manager is going to suggest a pinch run for him. Um, same thing with pitch pinch hits, right? So Vic Rashi, um, a head big late, uh, will be recommended to be pinch for pinch hit for two times out of every fourteen. Um, I've got pinch hit versus lefty and righty stuff set up here. Haven't got the ratings done yet. Um, pinch hit appearances. So this is uh, a number based on how many times they were available on the bench and how many times they actually pinch hit. Uh, in this case, in the middle of the game, which is innings five and six, um, and teams behind, uh, Johnson gets a rating of 42, Collar gets a rating of 38, uh, Lindell 30. So if these three players are available to pinch hit, Johnson's going to get more 
uh, pinch hit appearances in that situation than Keller or Lindell. Um, over here again, I've got I don't I don't have the lefty righty splits because I don't use them. Um, I will add that if this goes live. Uh, pinch run appearances, right? So Phillips seems to pinch run uh, quite a bit. Um, not a lot of other players. Uh, Phil Rizzuto, if they're behind, he's on the bench. He pin he pinch runs a lot. Um, he probably wasn't on the bench very much. Uh, relief appearances, right? So relievers. Um, so guys that are mainly closers, right? When you look at more recent years, 19, you know, 70, whatever, or, or later, guys that were closers are going to have a lot of uh, their appearances over here under crunch time. Long reliever, relievers are going to have a lot more appearances numbers here under mid. Um, early is going to be your, you know, spot starters and your really long relievers that come in when it's a early blowout. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get the game started. I'm going to try to uh, record this in one take, so there's probably going to be a lot of uh, mistakes in it and everything. Uh, the game notes pop up. I don't know if you're familiar with Strat or not. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good game. Plus, it's great for uh, keeping score. So I love the baseball tonight theme. So I actually have it uh, play every time it's my intro music. While it's playing, I usually just double check that I've got the right uh, starting lineups. Right, so I'm doing an as-played project. Again, not a replay because I've never completed one in my life. Um, so I just you know double check that all the starting lineup is right um, while that music goes ahead and plays. So this basically would be a 1949 edition of Sunday Night Baseball, I guess. Um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I think most of you are familiar with how the, the board reader uh, works. Um, I do have reminders set on, um, which will change these uh, decision buttons to red when I uh, after I end in at bat. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're using, uh, if I do release this add-on, which I more than likely will, is before you end in at bat, you want to update the score if there was any, okay? Um, because pinch run and pinch hit decisions key off the existing situation. So let's say we go from ahead by two to ahead by four because of a two-run homer. Um, the situation will have changed at that point. So if it goes from tied to a one-run game, it doesn't change the situation. Um, obviously, it doesn't change the inning, um, etc. So um, we'll get through some of this here. Uh, I forgot to set the outs right, so probably uh, won't be doing a lot of talking here while we get into a situation um, where there's going to be a substitution recommendation. Um, I do use, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that guys, I do use a different um, different fatigue system um, than the one that Bill designed. Um, my apologies, Bill. You have a great game. Um, I'm just, I usually tend to tweak everything I ever uh, work with. Um, should have been runner on second there. There we go. Uh, Dillinger is fast, so he's going to score. So, here's the situation, right? Uh, pretty ends up on first. Dillinger scores. So before we do an end at bat, I'm going to change that to be Cleveland 1, uh, St. Louis nothing. Um, end at bat, now we've got uh, one out, runner on first. And I'm sure with these situations and stuff, I'm going to mess things up. Um, so I'm not going to try to, um, probably not going to try to save this game um, when I'm done. I'll just use this as, as scoring. All right, so 
just to give you a heads up on what what's going to happen now when I click the end at bat. So let's see. So Moss just singled, right? So Pellegrini's coming up. Uh, Pellegrini's uh, shortstop is a weak hitter. Um, when I click end at bat, it's going to actually look at um, the information for Moss, right? On if he was pinch ran for in that situation. Um, if he was, if he was pinch ran for at all in that situation, it'll look at the stats, um, figure out the random number, and if the random number is less than what the probability of him um, being pinch ran for is, it'll actually suggest that he pinch run. Obviously, early in the game, you don't end up with a lot of those situations, right? So when I click end at bat, it'll do that. Then the next thing it'll do is it'll look at Pellegrini's pinch hit stats in this situation. So right now it's bottom of the second, it's early, which is inning one through four. Um, we're behind because we're behind one to nothing. And if he was pinch hit for whatever reason, um, you know, however, however, let's say he was pinch hit one out of every ten times, if the random number, um, which is always between zero and one, ends up less than 0.1, um, it would say, hey, pinch hit for Pellegrini. So two out runner on first. Uh, Pellegrini grounds out. He's out. And the inning, we go to the top three. <clears throat> so, whoops. That's the thing about using the shortcuts. With strat uh, scoring, sometimes you can click too far. Uh, so Gromick, the pitcher, right? So a lot of times pitchers will be pinch hit for more often. Uh, the interesting thing about 49 is a lot of times whenever the game is tied, even late, um, they'll let the pitcher hit. So it's a little different than I'm normally accustomed to. Um, I chose 1949 for uh, this test because there's not as much substitutions. Um, I had started a 1982 replay, and I'm going to probably get back to that one um, on vacation now for the 4th of July. So uh, I will probably do something where I'll pick back up, run the numbers for that, and uh, pick back up with that um, replay. So just trying, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to get through uh, a few innings. Usually when we get to the fourth or the fifth, uh, the sixth, seventh, um, we're going to get more chances to do some substitutions. Um, luckily, this is a rather boring game um, at this point. Usually when I try to do one of these demos, um, it takes like a, it's like a ten to eight ball game, right? And there's like no substitutions made. So uh, I'm hoping that pretty soon we end up with a uh, end up with a situation where we get a substitution, so. Um, earlier, if you've been following the thread on the forum um, during one of my test games when I was actually on the road um, doing some of my regular work, um, I had, I don't remember the pitcher, but just doing one of these test games and he ended up with a uh, no-hitter going into the ninth. Um, retired the first two and then unfortunately um, gave up a double. Um, otherwise, I would have had my first uh, first no hitter in quite some time. All right, what are we, bottom bottom of the fifth? So we're going to start to get to some uh, situations here. Uh, all right, so here we go. So of course the Excel spreadsheet here, the code doesn't really know if. Um, the guy reached base. I don't have it reading the results. Um, I don't have it, you know, looking at how many outs there are, et cetera, whether the guy reached base. So when we hit a trigger, again, there's ratings here, um, which his rating won't show if we go live. Right now the ratings show 10 slash 1. So if he had, uh, if the number was less than 1 divided by 11, um, that's when it comes up and says pinch run for uh, Moss, the catcher. So um, he ground out, so um, we don't have a 
don't have a, a substitution situation. Um, if we had, what we would have done is come over here to the lineups tab, right? Uh, currently, it's who St. Louis is up, right? Darn it. hate that this thing doesn't. There we go. Maybe it's the way I use it sometimes. Um, get the pinch runners. So, Ned Garver, right? And the interesting thing here is um, Garver is actually a pitcher, okay? And one of the things that at least I as a replayer hardly ever do is use the pitchers to pinch run. And this way it actually chooses them at the right frequency um, because, you know, they're going to be listed as a pinch runner in that situation. If they're available, then um, you can bring them in as a pinch runner. Um, one thing over here in the, the manager info, um, you'll notice, you know, they got the team, the code, which is actually the retro sheet code, uh, the player, which is a combination of the team, a hyphen, and then the player's name picked up from the, the lineups tab, I think is where that comes from. Um, there will be a active-inactive column here, so it will only pull the active players into this list, um, and you won't have to ever, you know, essentially re-roll, so to speak, to choose a player that's actually active. Um, so let's see, one out, nobody on, right, for Pellegrini. Um, so there, you know, you got to see a, a little bit about how the substitutions pop up. Um, two out, nobody on, star strikes out. All right, so now we go to the top of the six. Okay. Uh, see, I just did that wrong. There's a shocker. I'm going to edit, undo that, and strike him out. All right, top of the seven. So <clears throat> here's another thing. Um, Star did not reach base in a mid situation and behind. Okay, so at that point the cell changed to, changes to gray because basically the numbers over here, right? So Star uh, St. Louis um, for being pinch ran for. Uh, let's see. Let me find the engine. Okay, so here's pinch ran for, right? It's currently mid and it's currently behind, okay? So this cell here is zero, zero. So that means that star never reached base um, in the middle innings when the team was behind. In fact, um, the only time he reached base was when they were behind big, okay? So there's no stats to go off of. It changes it to gray, okay? So it's basically up to you as to as to what you want to do next, right? Whether you want to pinch run for him, pinch hit for him, etc. Um, so you would go ahead and you know do whatever it is that you, that you wanted to do in that situation. Um, what I'd like to do is when um, that number is zero zero, give the gamer possibly this information. So in the middle innings, in total, here's how much uh, he was pinch ran for. So in this case, he was never pinch ran for. Um, so maybe actually in that case. I may not present any any stats to you because, like, uh, Roy Seavers here was never pinch run for in that situation. Um, so there's never going to be a situation where you're going to want to pinch run for him. So even if there's no stats for that player, um, you still, you know, would never pinch run for him. Okay. Uh, so Tucker singles. I want to get here to a situation. Um, Boudreaux is poor, so that's a double play. I want to get to a situation where we actually make a substitution. So, bottom of the six, ground out. One out, nobody on for Zarilla. And, you know, granted, when you're using the auto manager, right, you could really just get click happy and just sit here and wait for it to do things um, for you. Um, stars of five. Yeah, see, now you're going to see my super secret uh, fatigue helper. Um, let's see, so one and zero. So it's top of the seven, so he gave up one, only gave up one hit last inning, so he's still good. Yeah, for this uh, for this test, I'm using um, Strats Fatigue System mainly because I haven't been able to come up with a good one on my own. <coughs> All right, bottom of 
the 7th. So now we should start to definitely see some situations where we're going to get into pinch hitting, pinch running. Um, you'll notice that I've totally forgotten to update the score. Um, and actually it looks like I have the score backwards anyway. Yay, that's what I get for trying to do a video and do the board reader and do the score sheet all at the same time. So my apologies for that. Um, we got a runner on first and nobody out in the top of the seventh, bottom of the seventh, bottom of the seventh. All right. Uh, and at bat, nobody out, runner on first. This goes way easier when I'm not trying to do uh, 12 other things at the same time. So, Homer by Kokos, or Kokos, I'm not sure how you pronounce it because I wasn't around in 49. So again, I'm going to update the score, hopefully correctly, you know, when you're playing. Um, nobody out, nobody on, it's 3-1 to one now, St. Louis. One of the things that you'll find is when we get to the pitcher spot, uh, Star, even though he didn't go deep in a lot of games, um, he's ahead. Odds are he's hardly ever going to get pinch hit for. Um, in fact, we go down here to star, right, the pitcher, uh, pinch hit for. Um, so in crunch time, if they were behind Biggie, he was pin pinch hit for. Um, he got to crunch time once when they were just behind, didn't get pinch hit for. Um, in fact, he only, so, so here he's actually more likely to get pinch hit for in the middle innings when behind than late and behind, which is kind of weird, but that's how they, you know, that's how the manager handled him, so that's how um, the spreadsheet, I mean, the application is actually going to handle him. So, let's see, bottom of the, we got Moss up, we got Moss up, three to one, there we go. Single by Moss. So this time you'll notice that it didn't recommend that we pinch run for Moss. Again, because of the randomness, right? Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Hit by pitch. Obviously, we're not playing strat basic. Those of you who do know, it, it's already, I had already clicked the end of bat, it already went to star, and, it, you know, um, the application looked at the stats, realized we're not going to pinch run for him here. Um, let's see, Moss is poor. So, he's going to hold. Two out, first and second. Uh, again, Star never reached base in that situation, so that changes to gray. So we're going to, even if we don't pinch it for Gromick here, we're going to pinch it for him anyway, um, just to show you what's up. Um, walk by Kennedy, right? It's three to one, top eight. We got all that stuff right. Um, end of bat. Nobody on, runner on first. Strikeout. So now let's see what the app is going to do. Okay, so Gromick is due up. Let's go look at his stats real quick uh, for Cleveland. Um, Gromick. So we're going to pitch hit for him. It is, what, late here in the eighth, right? Behind, he's going to get pinch hit for every time. Okay, behind big, he, he got pinch hit for twice. Um, behind, get pinch hit for once. Didn't never never appeared at the plate. So I'm hoping since we're doing you know the demo gods don't uh, don't frown on me here. We actually get suggested to pinch hit, and then we'll show you how that all process works. So we're gonna end it bat. Boom! Hey, yay! Pinch hit for Gromick. Uh, Kennedy's on first. So uh, now we've got one out runner on first. So Gromick is gonna get pinch hit for. Right. So we're gonna come over here. Uh, Cleveland is up. So we're going to choose Cleveland. We're going to choose get the pinch hitters. This changed to late and behind. You'll notice there were a slew of batters used as pinch hitters. Okay. Right now, 545 is higher than Tresh, but it's lower than Tucker. So Tucker would be the pinch hitter. So we click on visitor, and we look down here. Tucker, right, is nowhere to be found because he's over in the starting lineup. So, you know, we're going to do it again here. 366, we get Peck as the pinch hitter. He is available. So we're going to bring in Peck to pinch hit. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to choose Peck from the lineup. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that from here, just because he's, he's not going to pitch. Um, we'll roll. Fielder's choice. 
two out runner on first. Notice that it didn't suggest a pinch run for Peck if he had reached base. All right, missing pitcher, right? So now we need to go and choose a uh, new pitcher. So we end at bat, we end inning. Um, now we need a Cleveland pitcher. Okay, so Cleveland's still collect, uh, selected. We choose get relievers. Uh, it's saying bring in Zoldak. Okay, 237 is above 210, but it's below uh, Zoldak. So anything 211 to 268, we would bring in Zoldak. He is available to pitch. Um, I'm not doing anything with um, fatigue as far as game-to-game -game fatigue or as far as, you know, I, this guy pitched two innings yesterday, for example. Um, that would come into play, like if you wanted to do, once I had the um, active and inactive um, situation, right? So now Zoldak is in. I'm going to go ahead and change his stats here. And now we move on with Zoldak on the mound, and Zoldak's on the mound here against Zarella. So um, that pretty much is what we're looking at uh, for the potential um, managerial suggestions. Um, other things that I'm thinking of but not sure how I would program is there's actually some formulas that some folks have come up with on when to pinch hit, pinch run. I'm sorry, not pinch hit, pitch run. Uh, sacrifice and uh, hit and run. And the sacrifice is pretty easy. Uh, the hit and run is a little bit more complicated. Um, but I will probably implement something with suggesting when to bunt. Um, anyway, that's all coming down the road. Just wanted to give you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, again, you can visit the N, uh, National Pastime Next Generation website. Download the game, download uh, all the different seasons, it's all free. And there's also a ton of stuff uh, over on my website at www.baseballsimresearch.com as well. Um, so thanks guys, sorry it took uh, so long for the video. Hopefully this comes out good. Um, and if you have uh, any questions, uh, hit me up on the website or the National Pastime Next Generation uh, Delphi Forum.